NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about the GATE 2022 instrumentation exam questions and solutions from circuit theory subjects. This content is common for electrical, EC, and instrumentation students. In the GATE 2022 instrumentation exam questions from circuit theory subjects, only three questions are asked. The three questions are two more questions. The first question is from the resonance circuit concepts. Already we discussed the resonance concepts. Before solving this question, just refer the resonance concepts. Serious resonance and parallel resonance. If you refer that video, definitely you can solve these questions. Okay. The second question. The second question is from power factor calculations. AC circuit analysis. Full AC circuit analysis concepts are also already discussed. So, just refer the AC circuit analysis concepts. Seven parts videos already given in the AC circuit, circuit analysis. So, go through the full concepts, these seven parts. If you refer these seven parts from AC circuit analysis, you can solve the any questions from the AC circuit analysis concepts. Okay. I think this is the this power factor calculations from part 5. Okay. If you refer the part 5 video, you can solve the power factor calculations from given circuits. Okay, next question 3 from basic mesh and nodal analysis concepts. Basic mesh nodal analysis concepts also we discussed. Okay. Now we will solve the first questions. This is a series RLC circuits because R0, L0, C0 are contained in series. We go to find the quality factor for the circuits. The objective of the question is find the quality factor for the series RLC circuits. Okay. We know that for series RLC circuits, the quality factor formula Q is equal to omega naught in the L by R. Omega naught means angular frequency in radian per seconds. L means inductance, R means resistance. Okay. L value R value is known, but we, we have to find the omega naught. We know the formula, omega naught formula. Here omega naught means resonance frequency. We know that resonance frequency formula, omega naught, omega naught is equal to 1 by root of LC. We know the L value and C value. Substitute, here L means L naught, C means C naught. Substitute these values, we can get the resonance frequency 10 power 6 by root 10. Here omega naught value, L value, R value is known. So, we can find the quality factor by substituting these values in the Q equation. So, Q is equal to omega naught. What is omega naught value? Omega naught is equal to 10 power 6 by root 10. L value, 1 milli henry. So, 10 power minus 3. R value, 50. So, 50. Just simplify this equation. We will get quality factor Q is equal to 6.32. This is the answer. Next, we will solve the second questions. The second question is from AC circuit analysis concepts. How to find the power factor for the given electrical circuits? I'll be discussed. Okay. How to find? If you find the input impedance of the circuit, we can find the power factor. For power factor for calculations, first our objective is to find the input impedance. If you know the input impedance, we can find the power factor from the input impedance. So, how to find the input impedance? Here, R1 value, capacitance value is given. So, frequency value is given. So, we can find the impedance values. First, find the capacitive reactance, Xc value. We know that formula capacitive reactance Xc is equal to minus J by omega C1. Omega is angular frequency. C1 is capacitance. Substitute these values, we can find the capacitive reactance. If you know the capacitive reactance, inductive reactance, then only you can find the input impedance. So, substitute here. Omega means 2 by F. The relations between angular frequency and linear frequency. Omega is equal to 2 by F. Because here linear frequency is given in hertz. If it is given in hertz, that is linear frequency. F. If it is given in radian per second, that is angular frequency. Omega. Okay. Here linear frequency is given. So, omega is equal to 2 by F. Okay. Substitute this value. Here 2 by F value is T. The person's value is 100 by Y. The micro, micro mean 10 power minus 6. Now, simplify this equation, we can get the answer as minus J10. So, the capacitive reactance value is minus J10. Now, we got to find the inductance, capacitive reactance for the inductor. So, XL1, XL1 is J omega L1, we know that formula. So, omega is equal to 2 by F. 
here L1 value is given, substitute here, we will get here milli can raise, so 10 power minus 3. 2 by F value 50, L value 20 by 5 and 10 power minus 3. Simply with this equation, we will get the inductive reactance XL is equal to J2. J2 is no. Okay. Now, find the input impedance. First, the R1 and the C1 is in parallel. That means R1 and XC1, helpers reactants are in parallel. R1 and XC1 are parallel. If two commands are parallel, what is the formula? R1, R2 by R1 plus R2, total impedance. So, total resistance here. So, R2 is equal to R1 into XC1 by R1 plus XC1. Instead of R2 here, XC1. Okay. Substitute these values. R1 value, R1 is equal to, what is the value of R1? R1 is equal to 20. What is the value of XC1? Minus J10. So, we will get minus 200J. Here, R1 value 20. XC value is J10. Minus J10. So, we will get this. Now, the total impedance, R2, L1 and R2 are in series. So, the R in series. R2, uh, L1, R1 are all in series. So, what is the formula? If the commands are connected in series, the resultant will be additive. So, we will get Z in is equal to R T1 plus R2 plus X2. Substitute this value. R T1. R T1. What is the value of R T1? R T1 is equal to minus 200 by 20 minus J10. What is the value of R2? R2 means 4 ohm. So, 4 ohm. What is the value of XL2? XL2 value is J2. Now, simplify this equation. We will get this. Further simplify. We will get Z in is equal to minus 20 J plus 10 by 2 minus J. Here, this denominated term have imaginary term. So, multiply the complex conjugate on both sides to eliminate this imaginary term in denominator. Okay. Complex conjugate of 2 minus j is equal to plus j. So, we will get the resultant value is equal to 8 minus 6j. Now, the input impedance calculation is over. We go to find the power factor. If you know the input impedance, easily we can find the power factor. So, z cos pi power factor is equal to r in by z in. So, we get Rn value, Rn to the root of Z, what is the value of Z n? Z n is equal to root of Rn plus X n square. Okay, it's magnitude. Okay, what is the value of magnitude for A plus J B? Root of A square plus B square, just like that. So, substitute this value here. Rn value is 8. This is Rn, this is X n. Okay, for Z n, this is Rn, this is X. So, Rn is equal to 8. So, Rn square, 8 square 64. X n is equal to 6. So, X n square 36. Simplify this equation, we will get cos by is equal to 0.8. So, power factor is equal to 0.8. This is the answer. Now, there are questions. There are questions from basic mis and nodal analysis concepts. The object of the question is we got to find the I3 in the circuit B. But here, R at is unknown value. We can find the R at unknown value from circuit A. So, from first step, we got to find the R naught value from the circuit A. Then, substitute this R0 value in the circuit B, find the I3. Okay. We may use not any one method. Mesa analysis and node analysis, but node analysis is easier. Because number of node is 2, number of misses is 3. Okay. So, node analysis is better. Use node analysis for circuit A. First, mark the node voltage, V1 and V2. Then, assume current flow from the node. Okay. Now, okay, there is current line in this junction. This current, this current and 2 ampere in opposite direction. So, magnitude will be negative. Okay, this current and I1, 2 ampere is in opposite direction. So, negative value. So, minus 2 ampere plus this current is P1 minus V2 by 4. This downward direction current P1 minus 0 by 8. Okay. Let us take this equation as 1. Here, I1 value is 2 amps. Okay. So, from that we can find 16 minus V1 by R0 by Ohm's law for this branch 16 minus V1 by R0 is equal to 2 amps. Okay. P is equal to IR. Here I value is given. I is equal to 2 amps. Here V, v means voltage across R0. Voltage across R0 means 16 minus V1. So, 16 minus V1 by R0 is equal to 2 amps by Ohm's law. Simply this equation, we will get 16 minus 2 R0 is equal V1. Next, let us take this equation as 2. Then, use this branch. Here, 
use ohms law in this branch the right value is given so uh, 8 ohm and r not are contained in series so voltage is v2 resistance is 8 plus r not current is 1 by 3 so v by r is equal to current i so voltage means v2 resistance means r 8 plus r not current means 1 by 3 okay by ohms law just ohms law so similarly this equation will get v2 is equal to 8 plus r not by 3 let us take this equation as 3 now substitute the equation 2 and 3 in 1 we can find r not okay substitute instead of v1 we got substitute here 16 minus 2 r not instead of v2 we got to find 8 plus r not by 3 okay now simply this equation will get r not is equal to 4 ohms so r not is known by from the circuit a we can we can find r not value now substitute this values in the circuit b find i3 okay use same node analysis concepts in the circuit b let us take this node this b a this node is b b as if current flow from the node and apply the jeff's current jeff's current law so in this branch by applying the jeff's current law we can get b a minus 8 by 4 because r not value is 4 okay this current value is b a minus 8 by r not value 4 This current B A minus zero by eight. This current B A minus V B by four is equal to zero. Simply by this equation, we'll get five V A minus two V is equal to sixteen. So let us take this equation as four. Now apply the current law in this V B node. In the V B node, this current B B minus V A by four. This current B B minus zero by six. This current B B minus forty eight divided by. 8 plus R not value 4. 8 and R not are contained in series, so we'll get 8 plus 4, 6 12. Okay, because R not value is 4. Okay, now simplify this equation. We'll get minus 3 VA plus 6 VB is equal to 16. Let us take this equation as 5. Now solve this equation 4 and 5. We'll get VA value is equal to 8 volt. Now we can find I3 value. No need to find VB, but our objective is to find the I3. So if you know the VA value, we can find I3 value. So here. What is the value of I3 by Ohm's law? I3 is equal to 8 minus V A by R not. Here V A value 8, so 8 minus A by R not, so we'll get 0, 0 amps. I3 value is equal to 0 amps. In the part one videos, we discuss the gate 2022 electrical engineering questions and solutions from the circuitry. In the part two videos, we discuss the gate 2022 exam questions solutions from circuitry for EC department. Now, just refer this all as video. Definitely, you will get a good knowledge in this subject. Okay, good. Thank you. Visit our website www.ncmlearningcenter.com. You can get the video materials for GATE, IES, ISRO, and other competitive examinations. Then PDF materials, PDF book materials prepared for NCM Learning Center. If you use this material, definitely you can get the good marks in the competitive examinations. Then you can get the test series. Join our WhatsApp group, NCM Learning Center WhatsApp group. that link is attached in the description box of the video join in our group if you have any doubts related to the discussion just post in the whatsapp group you can get the solutions okay good thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for notification like comment and share